Welcome to your exclusive presentation of Cherokee Brave Athletics on Faller Digital Solutions. Welcome to Fuller Digital Solutions. I'm Neil Coos. We're here with the softball team today. We're going to do the summer sports meet the team. We're starting with softball. They got a game tonight, so we got to get them through here so they can go get batting practice. And then we'll do the boys' uh, baseball team. So who are we starting out with today? Um, Prisa Barnes. Okay. What's your mom's name? Pam Barnes. Okay. First question. <laughs> Advantage or disadvantage <laughs> to having a parent as a coach? It's kind of both, I guess. <laughs> okay. You got to explain, though. I'm not just going to leave you at that. You got to explain. I don't okay, know. Give me the top two advantages. Uh two <laughs> or the top advantage of having your mom as a coach i don't know i get it it's both an advantage and a disadvantage because okay. i'm like spending so much time with her okay is that an advantage or it's both okay all right <laughs> i'm trying to stick you here what's it what's okay all right we'll, we'll sorry pass. mom okay. so and you just graduated yeah okay so your last year of of sports at cherokee how's it feel to be on the last leg as a while, it's as a it's weird. Bird. It's definitely weird because it's my last like high school thing. So after this, I'm done with everything. Okay, and what so. are we going to be doing after high school? Um, I'll be going to Drake University for Drake. pharmacy. Well, pharmacy. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> best favorite softball memory at oh, Cherokee. Gosh. I don't know. Just uh, spending time with that team is super fun. I thought you were going to say having your mom as a coach. No. No. I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Just hang it, bus rides just, here. Yeah, there, bus rides are super girls. fun. We get really hype and on the way there, and okay. it's fun to bond with everyone. So it's your last year. What's your? Is there a goal that you have in mind? I mean, I know you always have goals. You know, you want to be a good hitter. Yeah. No wears in the field, but is there a secret Parissa goal for the season? Um, we all wrote individual goals on a sheet of paper, and mine was to have a higher on base percentage than last year because I I can hit the ball. I just get yeah. out every time. So. Yeah. I mean, everybody looks at bad. I mean, I mean, even me when I do radio, I look at the other teams. I look. Everybody looks at batting average first. Yeah. But you got to look at on base percentage because uh -huh. there's a lot of people that are really good at just. I mean, you get on with errors or yeah. or walks and whatnot. So mm -hmm. okay, so Chris Barnes, senior, last year as a Cherokee Brave. Thanks for sitting down with us Thank today. Thank you. And good luck tonight against Elta. Thank you. That was Chris Barnes. Next up is Olivia Fox. Oh, oh this is weird. You gotta turn Is that on backwards? Yep, yep. You're not the first. You're not the first. Okay, so Olivia Fox, and you are just got done with your junior year, going to be a senior. Yep. Is it real that you're going to be a senior? Um, No, it, it's kind of surreal. Like, I feel like I'm still a freshman, so <laughs> to think that it's my last year, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so what's your mom and dad's names? Tina and Blake. Okay, and you don't have a parent coaching, but you have a sister on the team. Yeah. How's that when it comes to... Um, Sister chemistry. Well, I kind of hear some giggles outside here. As I'm, I I'm kind that. of hard on her um, because good, she though. plays with me on varsity. So sometimes I kind of have to watch myself. And, okay. Yeah, but I like playing with her. Okay, that's it's good. a good bonding moment for okay. us. All right. What position do you play? I'm catcher. Okay, catcher. What's your favorite softball memory to this point? Um, probably when Addie mooned the baseball team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah no one saw her but she did moon them so okay okay like the cherokee baseball team or a different uh, okay yeah it was a cherokee baseball team that brings up some nor some new questions for addy when she sits <laughs> yeah. down okay she was asking me earlier what i was going to ask her and i was kind of going through the list but that just changed the, <laughs> yeah. cor changed the course of the interview just a little bit we so. still give her so much crap okay so do you have any personal goals team goal what are the Personal goals, team goals for the season. Um, personal goal would be to have less airs like behind the plate, and team goal would be to win more games. Okay, win more games. We've got one under our belt. Yeah. Hopefully, get another Hopefully one tonight. Hopefully, we get one tonight. Which... Get more. Just, I mean, to me, it would be kind of maybe just get get more than last year and yeah. just go on from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's junior to be senior catcher Olivia Fox. Olivia, thanks for sitting down with us. Yep. Thank you. And good luck tonight. All right, Mrs. Malowski, give me your full name. Marin Malowski. Marin Malowski, what's your mom and dad's names? Tara Luger and Matt Malowski. Okay, I'm going to move the mic up just a little bit okay. there. Okay. And what position do you play? Pitcher. Pitcher, okay. And you just got done with your freshman year. Yep. You're going to be a sophomore. Yep. The pressure, what, 
the pressure of being a freshman pitcher on a varsity squad? Um, it's definitely nerve wracking knowing that I'm pitching against seniors that have played for five years and juniors that have played for four years, and this is only my second year playing. But going to it with the mindset yeah. of we're both varsity. And, yep. Okay, what's your favorite softball memory so far? Um, definitely the bus rides and just listening to music and having fun with our teammates. Okay, and goals for the season? Um, a personal goal is throwing a no hitter. And a team goal is definitely winning more than games that we did last year. Let's knock both of those out tonight. Yeah. No hitter tonight. Get a win. Yep. How about just a three inning, get out of here quick, yeah. go home. Yep. Sound good. Okay. Um, what other sports are you involved in at Cherokee? Um, volleyball, basketball, softball, and track. Okay. Put you on the spot. Favorite sport? Uh, I think it's tied between volleyball and softball. Okay. You just said that so you didn't make the coaches mad, right? <laughs> <laughs> No? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for sitting down with us today. Good luck tonight. Thank Go you. Go get that new hitter. Thank you. That was Mrs. Malowski. And now up. Oh, this one's going to be fun. <laughs> Addie James. What's your mom and dad's names? Nate and Abby James. Nate and Abby James. Abby James, the coach? Yes. Okay. All right. So, we'll forget about the mooning incident. We won't talk about that. <laughs> That didn't happen. And you're I promise. You got done with your junior year. You're going to be a senior. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on just the season so far? I think it's a lot better than last year already. We have a better environment. People are a lot happier. It's a lot more fun. Culture is a big thing when it comes to a team sport. You got to have everybody not happy, but just everybody on the same page. Mm -hmm. Favorite favorite softball memory memory over the last few years? Um, anything on the bus, like just bonding with my teammates, is really fun. What position do you play? First base. Okay. What's your batting average on the season? I just threw you because we, we looked at it just a little bit ago. Three. What? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's going to go up tonight, right? Mm -hmm. All right. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Just softball. Just softball. Okay. Advantages and disadvantages of being the coach's daughter. Um, I just agree with Parissa. Like the spending time with your mom, it's good, but it's, it's also bad. bad. It's also bad. Okay. All right. You know, mom's going to watch this, right? I'm sorry, Mom. And Grandma and Dad. and Yeah. Okay. All right. Goals, expectations, personally and team-wise as we go enter. You know, we're, we're past Memorial. I always say basketball, you get past Christmas, then it's the real season. Baseball, softball, you got to get through Memorial Day, then boom, conference play starts, and then it's real. Goals and expectations as we go into the stretch of the season. Um, I think – Personally and as a team, I just want to play better than last year, and I think that's going to happen. It sounds like everything's, like you said, the culture is just everything's seems to be a little on ground, ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that is first baseman, soon to be senior. Is it possible? It doesn't seem possible that you guys are going to be seniors. One more year, mm -hmm. and then it's going to be done at Cherokee. So that's first baseman, Addie James. Thanks for sitting down with us today, Addie. Good luck tonight. Who is next? This is Gunn. Allison, <laughs> how are you today? Uh, I'm pretty good. Ready for a win? Yeah. Pick up a win tonight? Hopefully. Okay, so Allison <laughs> Gunn, what's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Rachel and Patrick Gunn. Rachel and Patrick Gunn. And you just graduated? Been Woo! playing softball all five <laughs> yeah. years? Yep. Okay. What are your plans after high school? Um, to go to SDSU to major in psychology. Okay. All right. Play any sports at SDSU? Um, I'm hoping to join the club tennis team okay. because All right. okay. I like tennis. It's fun. Awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. Favorite softball memory over the last five years, oh, four and a half years. Mine was going to be Addison mooning a baseball team, but I guess we'll have to say our South O'Brien game last year. Cause it was, it was really intense, but we got the win and it was pretty I fun. Think I was, that was a home game. I was at, I think I was at, that, I think it was, was at, that, was it was at South O'Brien. Okay. But it was really, it was a good game. It was okay. fun. All right. Biggest <laughs> piece, first piece of it, biggest piece of advice to underclassmen coming into the Cherokee softball program? Um, just don't get frustrated if you're not where you want to be. Like last year I got thrown into playing first base for JV. And so I was like, this is new. I usually play outfield, but you know, you just got to be wherever you need to be for the team and just do whatever you can to help out the team. Okay. And what other sports are you involved with at Cherokee besides softball and tennis that you talked about? Uh, those are actually my only two sports. Dance team. I was on the dance team, okay. but this year I didn't do dance okay. team. Okay, all right. Yeah. So that's senior outfielder Allison Gunn. Thanks for joining us today. Good Thanks. luck tonight. Thank you. Uh, and
and that is going to bring up Mrs. Sophie Thorson. Sophie, how are we doing today? Good. You can look right there. Awesome. Okay, so mom and dad's names. Jason and Amber Thorson. Jason and Amber Thorson. Okay, and you're a sophomore, going to be a junior? Yeah. Okay, what position do you play? Um, center. Center field. I looked earlier, and for the, for the everyday starters on varsity, you got the highest batting average. Really? Yeah. Do you have what did you what was your goal going into the season personally and team wise? Um, just try to get on base as much as possible for personal, and don't let balls drop. In don't outfield. let balls drop. Okay. And then team just try to do better than last year. That that's come up a lot, and that's a, that's a good thing. You know, you just gotta you gotta flush last year and hope that things get you know get a little bit better. Um, what's your favorite softball memory over the last couple of years? Um, I just. I think it's funny because we call Taylin Ryder um, Toe. Toe. Because on the little board where we write the lineup, uh, they wrote Tay and it looked like Toe. Okay, so, so she's Toe. Yeah. It's a good way to get a nickname. Okay, so you've been in the Cherokee softball program two and a half years. What's a little piece of advice you got for maybe an eighth grader that's thinking about going off for softball? Um, just try your best and... Yeah, work hard on and off the field. On it, I like that, on and off the field. Sophie Thorson, thanks for joining us. Good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, next up is Colexus. I'm good. How are we doing today? Good. You ready for a win for Elta? Yeah, we need it. <laughs> Colexus Hinman with us. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Wait, Jania Hindman and Ryan Bierman. Okay, all right. What position do you play? I play third base. Third base, okay. And you're a sophomore? Mm -hmm. You'll be a junior? Yes. Okay, so you've been in the program a couple years. What's your favorite softball memory oh. over the last couple years? I don't know. Maybe when Taylor turned her head and got hit by the ball. Okay. She was looking at a butterfly. <laughs> turn the head to look at a butterfly. And, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that, that one would live with you forever if yeah, that happened. That yeah, so funny. What other sports are you involved in at Cherokee? Ooh, I do volleyball, track, dance, and I cheer wrestling and football. Okay, went to state track, right? Yep. How was that? That was actually really fun. I had a lot of fun. We placed a lot higher than we were supposed to. That's so. awesome. I've been to a lot of, you know, you think state football, basketball, wrestling, all that, but Iowa State track meet, I mean, not to veer off of softball, but the state track meet is – like one of the top track meets yeah, in the country is. so to have the opportunity to go down and run on the mm -hmm. blue oval is really is fun. okay so back to softball personal and team goals did you have any personal goals for the season so for my personal goals when we wrote them down on the paper i wrote to have less than 10 errors on the season okay i don't know how far i am yet okay like, wow. none or one something okay like well that. hey through this many games if you got none or one that's pretty good yeah okay so who is the most intense player on the team oh intense probably kendall she gets super hype i mean i kendall, guess she's not okay. intense but she's like very hype when something Just happens it's really hyped up yeah. <laughs> okay She'll so if the braves are batting who is the one in the dugout that keeps everybody on their feet and up and going mm, well usually that's sabrina, sabrina i would think yeah okay she's pretty loud okay all right so Alexis, thanks for joining us today good luck tonight thank and you and get a win over elta Kendall Fox, how are you? Good. Wonderful. What's your mom and dad's names? Tina and Blake Fox. Okay, and younger sister to Olivia. Yes. I asked her, and I'm going to ask you, advantages and disadvantages of playing on the same team with your sister. Um, advantage? I'm not going to tell you what she said. Well, advantage, I like spending time with her, but okay. then she can be very bossy, and like okay. All right. she gets kind of scary. So Bossy and scary. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I yeah. Get it. I I'm not going to tell her, but I see it. Yeah. I can see it. Okay. She, yeah. All right. And so you just got done with your freshman year, yeah. be a sophomore. What position do you play? Uh, shortstop or left. Shortstop or left. Okay. So normally if I go, if I'm looking at a softball team or a baseball team, I look at the shortstop. Yeah. That's typically one of the studs. I mean, typically you look at a baseball team or a softball yeah. team. Usually, is there extra pressure because you're a younger classman or do you just go out, hey, it's just another softball game? I try and always think, like, hey, it's just, like, another game. Like, don't have um, pressure. But usually, like, the hardest hits get hit at shortstop yep. or left. It's yep. always over there. So you do have a lot of pressure on you. And when you're playing varsity, 
a lot of the people you're playing are juniors and yeah. seniors been playing for four or five yeah. years. They're typically bigger, stronger, faster. Yes. So to be able to be put in that position in the first place is kind of a compliment to you from the coach. Hey, you know, I trust you there. Yeah. So, okay. Favorite memory over the last couple of years? Um, just like a couple of weeks ago when Marin hit her home run. Okay. I think I that heard was, about that. That was, was amazing. That it was, wasn't just over either. It was like gone. Yeah, it was gone, gone. That's, that's, that's yeah. kind of what I heard. Okay. Is anybody else on the, is there anybody else on the team that can compete with Marin home run wise? Um, I mean, anybody on any given day, but is there anybody that's just, Hey, I'm going to go get her home run. I feel like Olivia could. Okay. Not just because she's my sister, but I feel like she has, like, a lot of potential. She could definitely. And, like, Addison, she has the power to do it. Yep. Okay. All right. Personal goals you have for yourself for the season? Um, probably just um, make less errors and just really dial into the game. And for probably team, try and win at least three games this okay. year. What I like about the question, I've asked that question to, like, four or five of them about personal goals. And almost every one of them have been defensive. Yeah. Less errors. Nobody is talking about going up and hitting the crap out of the ball yeah. and home runs. It's all about defensive yeah. errors because it all starts on the defensive Defense. side. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining Thank us today. You. Good luck tonight. Thank and you. Go get a win over Elta. That was Kendall Fox. And now is Miss Ollendorf. How are you today? Uh, good. Wonderful. Emma, Emma Jean, what do you go by? Does Emma. it matter? Emma? Okay, Emma Ollendorf. Mom and Dad's names? Uh, Jen and Cody Ollendorf. Jen and Cody. Okay, younger brother's name? John. Okay, I just had to throw that in there. I just had to throw that in there. I love Big John. I just had to put that in there. Okay, and you just got done with your freshman year? Yeah. You're going to be a sophomore. What position do you play? Uh, Left. Left field, okay. If, there, if you were the coach, what position would you put yourself at? Is there a position you would play – you want to play that, hey, coach doesn't know what she's doing. I should play this position. No. No, coach knows what she's doing. Yeah. Coach, everybody's in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, favorite softball memory over the last couple of years? Um, well, like, we write team notes on the bus. Okay. And that's always fun. And then how, like, we wear hats at the dugout, and it's just hype. Hats. What kind of hats? Like, not we, just your regular Cherokee softball hat? No, like they're – we have cat heads. We have um, cowboy hats. We have – Interesting. All this fun stuff. Okay. I, you know, I was just debating in my head about whether I should go to the game tonight. And because of that hat comment, I think I'm going to show up at the game tonight. I want to see this – okay, cat hats and cowboy hats. And there's some, like, other hats too. That are just different. Do you just wear whatever hat you want, or is there like a hat for each per certain person wears a certain hat? No, you just grab whatever hat you want. and then. Okay, all right. <laughs> Who supplies the hats? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know. We just have like a whole bunch of them. Okay. They're like, That's we different. found I, everything, I've, yeah. I've never really been a softball guy. I've always, you know, I've always watched baseball, but I might have to come to, to softball tonight just to see the cat hats. <laughs> okay. what's, what's mom think of the cat hats? She thinks it's funny. Who knows? Yeah. She would think that's funny, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I can't remember what I've asked you. Advice to underclassmen. Somebody, hey, say there's an eighth grader that's going to be an eighth grader next year debating about whether she wants to go out for softball. Advice to that person. Um, uh, put like all your work, like work hard for what you want and just try to improve as much okay. as you can. All right. Awesome. Hey, well, thanks for sitting down with us today. Good luck tonight. Thank you. And go Braves. All right. Who do we got with us now? Carly Lubeck. Okay. Your mom and dad's names? Um, Mike and Kara Lubeck. Okay. And what grade in school are you? Um, I am a freshman. Just finish your freshman year. You'll yep. be a sophomore. Okay. Because that summer after school is always weird. If somebody asks you what grade you're in, you say, do I say the grade I just got done or do I advance myself into that next grade already? Yeah. Okay. So what position do you play? Um, second. Second base. Okay. Is there a position you'd play if you could choose any position? No, probably not. Have you always played second base? Second or catcher growing up. Catcher. Okay. I Okay, catcher. You got to be a stud to be a catcher. Even baseball, softball, both. I mean, you. I, I do a lot of radio and I do a lot of games on the radio. I go to a, if I'm going to scout a team, I look at their center fielder, their shortstop, and their catcher. Those three positions will say a lot about a team. So yeah. the fact that you are that position. So, okay, goals that you have for yourself for the season. Um, 
For personal, it was just more um, work on getting better plays and focusing on the ball more. And a team one is just get more wins. Get more wins. I like that. What, did we have three last year? Um, I think four. so, maybe. We got one already. We'll get another one tonight over Alta. That'd be a big win. Yep. Okay, both teams are coming in with just one win on the season, so it mm -hmm. should be a competitive ball game. Won't be like last night. <laughs> another competitive game. Okay, so... Let's see, what have I asked you about? Who is, the, okay, who's the most intense, intense on the team? Intense? I feel like it depends because there's a lot of different people that are intense at different times. I feel like Loud in the Dugout is definitely like Addison James, Kendall, and Sabrina. Okay, Addison James, Loud, I, I get that. <laughs> I get that loud and clear. Okay. Um, what other sports do you play at Cherokee? Um, I do cross country and tennis. Cross country and tennis. What's your favorite? Um, tennis, it was my first year, but probably cross country or softball. Cross country, softball. All right, nice. All right, well, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you. Good luck tonight. Got just a few left, I think. Softball meet the team here as they are getting ready. Some of the ones I've already talked to are out going out for batting practice. Got a home non-conference game against Elta Aurelia tonight. They're going to play the varsity game first at five because of the threats of rain. So who do we got with us now? Um, Peyton Reinert. Peyton Reinert, okay. And your mom and dad's names? Uh, Tim Reinert and Beth Reinert. Okay. And what grade are you in? Um, I'm a freshman going to sophomore. Nice. All right. Freshman going to be a sophomore. And you're a hurdler, right? Yeah. Okay. I remember you from I remember you from tracks so of being the hurdler. So. Yeah. And what position do you play in softball? Well, uh, center. Center field. Okay. You yeah. got to be fast to be center field. <laughs> I remember watching you run hurdles. So. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, personal goals that you had for yourself for the season. Well, I'm a slapper, but my personal goal was to get eight slaps. But okay. I already got two, so I want to raise it up to ten. Raise that goal up to ten. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. Um, favorite softball memory? Um, uh, it, it has to be the hats. I always just love those hats. <laughs> They're so fun. I'm going to come to the game tonight just uh, to see the hats. And I'm going to have to sit. Usually I'd sit behind that first base dugout, but I'm going to have to sit down the third base line just so I can, just so I can see the, who's the most intense um, or let's, let's change it up. Who's the most competitive? I think Olivia. Because Olivia. I feel like being a catcher has so much like pressure, and she's you very be, intense. And you got to be heads good. up as a catcher, yeah. and for her to be the most intense. I like that. Yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> hey, well, thanks for sitting down with us, Peyton. Good luck tonight. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, there's a camera. Miss hey. Ava Kramer is going to sit down with us now. How are you? Good. What's your mom and dad's names? Well, I'll make it easy. Stop. We'll make it easy, short, and sweet, okay? Okay. All right. What's your mom and dad's names? Gail and Steve Kramer. Okay. How was Washington, D.C.? It was fun. It was a good trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Well worth it. Glad you did it? Yeah. And glad you got to do it with all your friends? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what position do you play? Um, shortstop. Shortstop. And you're an eighth grader, going to be a freshman, mm -hmm. playing some varsity. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's a big, that, that's a big, that's a big jump from... Seventh grade little league to varsity softball. Yeah. Was it as was it as big of a difference as you thought it would be? Um, I feel like it was a big difference just because like the game just moves so much faster that, than like when we were in middle school because everyone's just like so much faster because they're just so much older than you are. Older, bigger, stronger. Yeah, yep. and then they hit it a lot harder and stuff. Yep. And so, so what is? Do you have a personal goal for yourself on the season? Um. Probably just to, like, knock it down on myself because, like, I know I'm still, like, young and still learning absolutely. with, like, 100%. the high school level, so. Yep, absolutely, 100%. Favorite memory of the season so far? Probably just, like, being in the dugout during, like, when everyone's up to bat because it's, like, really fun because everyone's, like, hype and, like, they're cheering I've, and stuff. I've heard multiple stories about this dugout and these dugout hats. Uh-huh. I'm going to, uh, these dugout, I don't know about that, so I'm going to have to come find out those dugout hats. So, team team goals for the season, probably you just get more wins from yeah. last year and build as a team. We're a younger team. Yeah, definitely so younger. So, girls your age are going to be around for the next four or five years, mm -hmm. and this program is going to skyrocket yeah. in about four or five years. People aren't going to recognize this program, right? Yeah. All right. Well, Ava Kramer, thanks for sitting down with us today, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs>
What did you do, girl? Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Callie Bussy, how are you? Good. <laughs> Wonderful. What's your parents' names? Um, Damon and Jessica Bussy. All right. What position do you play? Um, third. Third base. And you're another eighth grader, mm -hmm. soon to be freshman. Yep. Like I asked Ava, the pressure of being an eighth grader playing varsity was the difference in the game as much as you thought it would be? Um, it was definitely, like, scary at first, just because, like, yeah, like, if you make mistakes, like, but, like, if you do, like, the team doesn't get mad. Like, yep, yep, okay. And then you play, you said you play third base? Mm -hmm. Okay. Favorite memory so far? Um, probably how hype the dugout and bus rides are. Okay, all right. Um, let's see, what else? What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Um, volleyball, track, softball. You're a runner, cross country runner. No, no, no not a tracker. Mm -mm. No. All right. Goal for you personally over the next four years, five years, as you play Cherokee softball. What's a goal of yours over the next couple of years? Um, probably just like improve and improve. Like, yeah. Work hard every yep. day. All mm -hmm. right. Well, Callie, thanks for joining us today. Good luck tonight. Go get a win over Elta. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. That might be it on the. Nope. We got. We got oh, two more. two more. Oh, save the best for last. Right. All right. <laughs> Kaylin Ryder, how are you? Good. Wonderful. What's your mom and dad's names? Kayla and Chris Ryder. Okay, and you're another eighth grader playing some varsity. Yep. Okay, and like I asked the other girls, was it as, is the game that much stronger and faster than you thought it would be? Was it that big of a difference? Yes. Uh, the game's more, like, intense, and people are more willing to, like, throw down and actually get the out. It's 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 like like i would say you're in big boy baby big boy mm -hmm. ball now big yeah. girl ball now yeah okay and what position do you play pitcher pitcher okay mm -hmm. you and did i hear you pitch last night i did was that your first varsity pitch yep and what was okay pre-game what's your thoughts going into the game number one not only are you an eighth grader going to be pitching varsity but mm -hmm. you're pitching against a top five team in the state it was definitely nerve-wracking once i got up there i was kind of chill once you get out there yeah. and you get a couple warm up pitches mm -hmm. in, just you got to try to tell yourself it's yeah. just another softball game. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, what other sports are you do you play at Cherokee? Um, track, and I think I'm going to try cross country this year. All right, cross mm -hmm. country because that'll help you in every. Yes. I'm not one to run, but mm -hmm. cross country is one of those sports that'll help you across the board, and no matter what you do, goal personal goals for yourself on the season. Getting more strikeouts in a game. Okay. All right. Team goals, I know everybody's going to say win, win, you know, get more wins than last year. Um, it sounds like from the group, the the chemistry is 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 a lot better than it was last mm -hmm. year, and it's just really good this year, so that's got to be a big advantage. Yeah. So, all right, uh, let's see, what else? What else should I ask Taylin? Who's your, who's your favorite uncle? <laughs> uh, Anthony's chill, so Anthony, is Kyle. Anthony's pretty yeah. chill. Okay, all right. So that's Taylor Ryder. Good luck tonight, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. All right. I think. This Caitlin Miller. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Good. Caitlin Miller. What's your mom and dad's names? Anthony and Krista Miller. Okay. Younger brothers' names? Younger. Younger brothers' names? Um, Carson, Kellen, and Clay. Carson. I just had to get Carson in there. I just wanted you to say Carson. <laughs> okay, so you're another one of them eighth graders that's playing varsity. Position? Um, a little bit of everything, isn't it? Yeah. Play some catcher. What else you play? Um, some outfield? outfield? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite position? If you were the coach and you were making a lineup, what position would you put yourself at? Hmm. Somewhere in the field. Somewhere. Not catcher? No. No? I thought you were like the catcher to be. Mm, Maybe? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Favorite memory so far of this season? Or even Little League softball. Do you have a memory that goes way back, something funny that happened? Um, Probably all the bus rides to places okay. and being all in right. the dugout and supporting everybody. Okay. That's a good one. Did you have any personal goals for yourself on the season coming in? Um, to be, like, more positive, energetic, and not get down so easily. Okay, all right. Did you think you'd be playing some varsity coming in? Did you think that was going to be a uh, something that would happen? Maybe. Yeah. 
Is it that is the game that much faster than the little league game? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just I mean the girls are four or five years older and they're bigger, stronger, faster. Okay. All right. Well, Caitlin, thanks for joining us today. Good luck tonight. Go get a win against Elta. Thank you. All right. That is the end of the softball. Oh. The ultimate, the ultimate softball. The ultimate softball. I'm joined by Coach. I almost said Addy, but Abby <laughs> James. Thoughts on the season so far? Um, we've had a couple losses that um, were a result of some silly errors that hopefully will get cleaned up before uh, moving into next week. Um, we played a very good game against the ELC, which doesn't seem like a good game. We got 10 run rolled, but it was in the sixth inning, and you know, they're kind of top dogs in our area. Um, just the, the kids are excited. They want to be there. They're working hard attitudes they're just eager for anything so um it's it's exciting to look forward to um they it doesn't seem to matter what i throw at them whether a different position which a lot of them had that um or you know hey guess what you're in a dp tonight uh, okay <laughs> i had a lot of youngins pop mm -hmm. in there and mm -hmm. and they've you know they've taken it with stride so it's it's kind of exciting We've had, you know, rough few years. We struggle with depth of pitchers, but um, we're building and we're growing. And once in a while, our youth shines through. But um, thankfully, we got some good leadership out there that keeps encouraging them. And I don't know. I'm excited to to hopefully pick up a few more wins the next couple of weeks and and um, keep encouraging these younger kids to stick with it and bring some friends along and and keep growing this this uh, program. That's the one thing I got out of t sitting talking to these girls and. Not just a few of them, but almost all of them, you could see that the chemistry is there. They're all talking, and that's one of the things I, you know, I ask them about goals for the season and stuff like that. And it was always stay bonded, keep together, mm -hmm. keep encouraging each other. So there's good things on the horizon. Like you say, um, do we have one senior? Two. Two seniors. Two. One junior. A couple two, juniors. Two juniors. Two seniors. Yep. You don't see a lot of teams with only two seniors, nope. two juniors, but. In, you, they're inexperienced, but you have some really good athletes at that eighth grade freshman sophomore right, level. It's right. gonna, and like you said, it's going to be fun in the next couple of years to see that. Like I told the one girl, I said, this program is going to be totally different in the next three years mm -hmm. as that younger group of girls comes through. Um, you play in a conference. Like I talk to Coach Rapp all the time on the baseball side. There's only five teams in the lakes, but you're in for a dogfight no matter mm, where you go. Absolutely. Any night of the week. Absolutely. Just, I mean, maybe, maybe just talk a little bit about the Lakes Conference. I mean, you got up to go to Esterville last night, and like you said, it might not sound like a good game when you got 10 run, but to only get beat by that many by a team like that, it's got to say something about how your young girls went out. Yeah, fought. I mean, we walked away from that game, and the ump said, congratulations. And I thought, why? We just got 10 <laughs> run. And he, and he said, no, I've never seen a team make it this far against them. And I thought, wow, I just threw a freshman in the eighth grade or had some tough games that they've played. Um and they're, they're always big hitters, so I'll be curious to see what that game's going to look like. Um, we got Spirit Lake next week, and that's when um, we're, we're always battling close with. Um, Storm Lake, you just never know what you're going to get with them. They've you know, got all kinds of depth over there with, with uh, Strike Zone right there in their neighborhood. So lots of pitching experience there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's one tough night every time we go to conference. So you just – hope for the best and do what you can but what's the what's the schedule look i mean you got tonight against delta is that it for the rest of the week yes yes and then next week it's we're fully loaded we've got we got a game monday tuesday wednesday thursday we have a just a jvr game and then we have a tournament friday and a tournament saturday where we'll play two games each day so um some different teams that we haven't seen which is going to be kind of nice we'll go to lawton on friday new tournament that we added and then Saturday is at Trinity which we joined that one last year so we'll see a couple different teams there which I'm kind of excited about just seeing something different than you know what we're used to so I know softball is a little bit different than baseball in the aspects of the pitch count the pitcher situation is not the not the same thing talk a little bit about is there a I know there's not a pitch count or anything but is I know when I was in high school we had one good pitcher and I think she pitched all but two games a whole year sure um your pitcher, Marin, is a uh, freshman. Mm -hmm. You got Sophie's a sophomore. Um, Taylor's an eighth grader. 
talk about the development of those pitchers as they come up through the young years. Sure. Um, well, you know, Marin's mom, um, Tara Luger, our volleyball coach, was um, a, a star pitcher in, in her day. So um, it's kind of nice having her there to support Marin and her progress. Um, you know, the awesome thing is Sophie and um, – Marin love the weight room and you can tell that in their pitching that that's, you know, you can definitely tell it in their growth. Um, we start pitching in January. That's as soon as I can with them and they pitch, you know, till season starts trying to increase it, but they're both tracksters. So that kind of, you know, interrupts things a little bit for us, but, um, you know, we've got Taylin, um, this year who has done a little bit of RC, just, you know, a little bit last night, kind of trying to throw off ELC with the, the different speeds there. And, uh, we have a couple other eighth graders too throwing. So just trying to develop them, keep them throwing, um, Marin, Marin can throw every game all day long. Um, we can only play three in a day, but I mean, she could, she could pitch all of them, but it's just what, what her body can handle. And, you know, we don't want to wear her out too much that she's not ready for the, the next day. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Sophie doesn't have the spots that Marin does, but she's definitely getting, gaining the speed and the experience. So, um, she'll get there too. And it's just nice to actually have a couple people to work with versus one person to rely on, hoping they don't get hurt, you know, kind of thing. Totally, totally get it. So thoughts on the Elta game tonight as we're sitting here, I'm looking out your team that uh, is taking batting practice. You got a game here in about an hour. So thoughts on the Elta game. I, you know, after the games this week, I just hope the girls come out ready to go. I think they're pretty fired up. They know that this is one they can um, really compete with and, and um, really want to go get. So kind of a little bit revenge from last year. So hopefully this is, this is one they can, we can get in. <laughs> yeah, we can way. get in depending on the weather. It's looking like a little rain. And I don't know about the fired up part, but I can tell you they're definitely a little giggly. Oh, they'll get loud. From some just, of the questions. I, just and, be aware. They'll get loud. I am going to come to the game tonight because I was told about some dugout hats. Oh, yes, yes. Um, they Watching college ball <laughs> the last couple of years, they learned a few things, and they've also learned what the dugouts can look like in some college games. And, <laughs> and there was a couple teams that got a little crazy in the dugout. So then, you know, one day we had a couple hats, and then every game after it just seemed to be a little something wilder and more and – Hey, you know what? As long as they're paying attention and motivated, motivating each other, game then game. I don't care. And you say they're watching college softball. And college softball, the publicity of it is skyrocketed oh, it's huge. the yeah. last couple of yeah. years. So that's a good thing. I'm going to come tonight to see the cowboy hat and a cat hat that I heard oh, about. Oh, jeez. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, yeah. Coach James, thanks for sitting down with us tonight. And good luck tonight and the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That's Coach Abby James of the Cherokee Braves softball. That was our summer sports Meet the team with the softball team as they get ready for their game tonight against Elta. And we're going to take, I'm going to pause for just a few moments and we're going to get some of the baseball boys up here. Thank you for watching this exclusive broadcast on Fuller Digital Solutions. To receive notifications and links about your favorite team's live streams, join our text club by scanning this QR code or text the word on the screen to the number shown. If your business would like to be a sponsor on broadcasts like this, please reach out to us at fullerdigitalsolutions at gmail.com. Join us all year long for coverage of your favorite team on Fuller Digital Solutions. Welcome back to Fuller Digital Solutions. Neil Cruz here. Summer, meet the team. We got done with the softball team. We had to do them first because they are getting ready for their game against Elta Realty tonight. Now we're going on to the real sport, right? Baseball. We'll do the baseball meet the team. We're going to start out with none other than Drew Spooner. How are we doing today, Drew? I'm doing pretty good. Wonderful. Talk, uh, mom and dad's names? 
Uh, Gwen Radke and Jason Spooner. Okay. And you're just graduated? Just graduated, yep. Okay. Does it seem real that you're, other than baseball, you're in high school? It, it's a little different. Is it, start, uh, is it starting to set in that? Not, not old, fully. Not fully? Not fully. That's, well, just, that's a good uh, thing. Because mm-hmm. as a parent of a just graduated senior, it, it's starting to set in a little bit. But it doesn't feel like you guys should be done. No, I, I agree with that. Okay, so Drew took a couple years off of baseball, working on that PGA golf swing, and decided, hey, senior year, we got to get the band back together. Got to come back out for baseball. Are you glad you made that decision? I would say so. All right, good, because I am. Mm-hmm. I, I am super glad you came out for baseball. So position, what position do you play? Catcher. Catcher, okay. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the positions That's a, one of the positions we needed this year. So pretty important. Favorite, favorite baseball memory? Little league, high school, Ooh. whatever. Fa- or favorite Fav- thing about baseball? I say, gotta say, favorite memory was uh, back when you were coaching us and we were in Marcus playing that game and I hit my first home run. Okay. Might have been a short field, but. Yeah, that still doesn't hit. matter. Exactly. Nobody needs to know that. Exactly. And was there a nickname that you were given because of that? Well, some people like to call me Dr. Dinger. Dr. Dinger, okay. All right. Are we going to see the emergence of. I thought we were going to see the emergence of Dr. Dinger last night. Oh, I got a hold of that one pretty good. I think. I, got, I was talking to your dad a little bit. I think that would have been out on this field. It would have been close, I, I think. I think that would have been out. If we weren't on that college field. Yes. It Take been a close. tough loss to ELC last night. I know. One of those games where you have it in your hand, and I think just part of it was our. Our youth kind of came through. I mean, our in, in, not just the youth, but the inexperience came through. But we just always seem like we always play Esterville tough. We beat them once last year. Should have beat them a second time. But, okay, what other sports did Drew play in high school? Uh, played basketball my freshman year, but then uh, played golf all my other okay. years. All right. Mm-hmm. Golf, and Drew just graduated. So where, what's Drew going to do this fall? I'm heading to UNI. UNI, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Is Drew going to yep. be a golfer at UNI? I am. That is mm-hmm. awesome. That's the first I heard that. So congratulations. Um, why you and I? Uh, I really, when I went and visited the campus, it was 100% the favorite, my most favorite campus awesome. that I visited out of awesome. everywhere I went. Um, and then Shane Bellify got me in contact with the coach awesome. last spring, actually. And uh, just a couple of weeks ago, got the phone awesome. call. It said, go be a Panther and be, be a Panther. golfer. And mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, personal goals that you have for yourself this season. And it's got to be a little bit different not playing for a few years. Mm-hmm. But from the looks of it, you came in and just kind of fell right back in defensively, offensively-wise. You're mm-hmm. playing a heck of a catcher this year. Personal goals you have for yourself. I'd really like to at least get one out of the park. Get one out of the get park. One. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I like that. Um, like I say, the defensive side, you're, I mean, you're working your butt off. I've always thought that the catcher, not, not necessarily the most – I mean, none of the positions are more important than the others. But like I was talking to one of the softball girls, you know, I – I do a lot of games on the radio, and I look at a team. I look at their center fielder, their shortstop, and their catcher. You can tell a lot about a team by those three positions. So, all right, Drew Spooner, thanks for sitting down with us today, yes. Spoon. And thank you. good luck the rest of the season. Yes, thank you. That is Drew Spooner. Now we get Mr. Noah Rapp. How are we doing today? I'm good, Neil. How are you? I am awesome. All right, why don't you give me your mom and dad's names? Uh, father's name is Adam. Uh, mom's is Alicia, and uh, stepmom is Renee. Okay, all right, and you're a sophomore, sophomore. going to be a junior. Yep. Okay, what position do you play? Uh, so far for varsity all around, I've played just third and second. Third and second. Um, a little bit in the pitching rotation. A little bit of know. pitching in the rotation. All right, what's your favorite position? Okay, so if you're the coach, if you're Coach Rap, yeah. Coach Rap, Adam doesn't know what he's doing. You're the <laughs> you're coach right, now. Yeah. What position are you going to be playing? Uh, probably shortstop. Shortstop, shortstop. okay, shortstop. shortstop, okay, all right. You know he's going to watch this, right? Oh, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> that's fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, favorite baseball memory so far? Um, So far this season, I mean, I really don't have a memory. I mean, everything's a memory with these guys. I mean, we're a special team. Uh, but to be completely honest, best memory is just being around these guys and, you know, learning from experience from, you know, our seniors and everything. So. Okay. All right. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, football. Uh, gonna be playing basketball again. I quit that. Gonna be playing reason. basketball again. Yeah. I was, you know, as I asked you that, I'm thinking, did he play basketball? Was yeah. Like, okay. What What made you change your mind to go back out for basketball? Um, just watching my little sister play in tournaments. Okay. It kind of just brought All right. back everything to me. So one on one, can she take you? Probably. Okay. All yeah. Right. I'm glad you answered that yeah. truthfully. <laughs> And you shouldn't be ashamed to answer. Oh that no, thing. no, she's she's, she's, she's gonna be a baller. She's, she's gonna be a baller. Yeah, there's a good and that's a good group of couple grades yeah. that are right around there that got some good groups. So, 
Um, let's see what else. Okay, put you on the spot. Who's <clears throat> the most competitive guy on the team? Um, definitely, I'd say Alex. Alex. Cohen. Okay, that's the name that was at the top of my head yeah. too. So, is there somebody that is there an upperclassman that sticks out to you? That's someone that has kind of taken you under their wing, or somebody that's told you a piece of advice here and there that kind of sticks out? I'd say just the, I mean, all the seniors, but as of right now, I'd say Carter, Kalen, Alex. Okay. So far. All right, those are three good dudes. Yeah. Not just because Carter's my son, but just three good <laughs> just dudes. Just three good dudes. Alex yeah. is kind of like a son. Kale's always around too. But you got a good group of upperclassmen to yeah. take things from. And then because of that, you know that when you're up there, there's going to be a group of younger kids that are going to yeah. be saying, hey, that Noah Rapp told me this one day, and it's going to be so. Yeah. It, it all keeps going, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, good luck the rest yeah. of the year, Thank Noah. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, all you. right. Let's see who's next out there. Okay. Mr. Jack Mullins, how we doing, sir? Good, how are you? Oh, man, I'm fantastic. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Jeremiah Mullins and Kelly Smith. Okay, all right, and you're a freshman? Yeah. Going to be a sophomore? Yep. Okay. What is the secret to Jack Mullins batting? <sighs> Go up there and think I can hit anything. Okay. You know, none of the umpires have really been that consistent this year, so you never know where their strike zone is going to be, high, low, outside, inside. Hit anything that's close. When you When you're out there... Does the fact that you're just a freshman even come into your mind, or is it just I'm batting, he's pitching, and let's go? Yeah, just go up there, hit anything. I'm just a kid trying to prove my point. And okay, all right. What positions do you play? Uh, the first two games I started out catching, and then I just kind of did a little DH in, and now I'm just kind of playing wherever they need me. Okay. Is there a position you favor over another one? I like them all. You like I them all? It doesn't just bother me where I play. put me on the field yep. and let me play baseball? Yep. All right. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, wrestling and football. Favorite sport? Baseball. Ba uh, all right. And, you know, I knew you were the wrestler, and I've watched you play football, but I guess it didn't really register me that you were the, the baseball type yeah. until I saw you that first, what was it? Not, it was the first game you started at second base, I think. You went like three for three. Uh, just, but just, yeah. just the way you go up to the plate, and I can just tell that your mind is 100%. Just let's just get a hit. Let's just hit the ball. And you're doing that. I mean, I think the batting average is almost 500 yeah, on the season. Yeah, I think I checked I, today. It was 474. I know that's not something we should look at nope. and kind of, you know, prize ourselves on. But did you have a personal goal in mind for the season coming in? Just try to keep my varsity spot and just keep everyone happy and give the seniors the best year they can have while they go out on a good one. Okay, all right. Who's the most competitive dude on the team? Like when it's crunch time, who's the dude that you're looking to to get some hey mo some mojo going? Who's who's the most competitive dude out there? Probably Alex Conner, Kale Miller. Okay, Alex is pretty. Yeah. Alex would not not just last night, but the East Sac game. Mm -hmm. yeah. When he's pitching like that, that and he strikes out 16, when he's on the mound, he gets that ball back from the catcher. It is 100% gloves in front. He's ready to go yeah. right now. Yeah. And it just, like, I'm, I've never been one to criticize umpires because I've done that before. But it seemed like to me that umpire at Sack just kept taking his lollygaggy time. Yeah, he was. And Alex would get the ball back, and he'd be on the mound ready to go. And then the umpire would be, like, talking to the batter or talking to the catcher. It's like, and you could just yeah. tell Alex was like chomping at the bits. He yeah, he had a heck of a game that game. That was a good that was game a real, for him. And team goals for the season. Make it to the state tournament in Carroll. Oh, man, dude. Have you ever been down there to watch baseball? Yeah, I state? went down there last year to it's, watch it. It's cool moments. It's it's cool. I mean, our neighbors over to the west, Rems and St. Mary's, are a perennial state powerhouse. And just – even though, you know, they take us down just mm -hmm. to go watch a team like that play at the state mm -hmm. tournament. It's yeah, any it, Northwest Iowa baseball and, team. Oh, you're in the toughest region of baseball on mm -hmm. the whole state. And if anybody from any other part of the state tells you different, you can tell them <laughs> secret things. Yeah. But, yeah, you're in the most powerful. And you start out the season with two big losses, but those are the two toughest teams you'll play all season. Mm -hmm. And you know as well as I do that those losses are going to make those younger guys on the team better. Yeah, that's just And this gonna team's going to go on. So we got bigger and better things. Got a Saturday game this Saturday against Hartley, and then we're loaded next week. We yeah. got four games, so we got five games in six days. So you it's ready for it? It's gonna be a it? grind, yeah. It's gonna be, a, but that's baseball. It's yeah. a grind, and just day in, day out. So Jack Mullins, thanks for Thank joining you. us today, and good luck the rest of the season.
Carter Cruz. How we doing today, Carter? Oh, pretty good. Did you wake up in time to get to practice? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Didn't. Okay. All right. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Nicole and Neil. Okay. Favorite part, favorite baseball memory to this point? Little league, high school, whatever. Favorite baseball memory? I don't know. Just playing baseball. Your dad know. coaching you? That's not. Yeah. not wasn't okay. very cool. Right. So you just graduated. What's your plans after graduation? Uh, go to SDSU, study animal science. Okay. Ten years, what's Carter's ideal job? Not a clue. Something in animal science. Something in animal figure science. Figure that out along the way. Okay. Who, what other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, football and track. Football and track. Who's the most competitive dude on the team? Mm. We'll just go with the rest of the people's answers. We'll just say Alex. Say Alex. All right. Advice to underclassmen as they enter the Braves baseball program. You don't got much time, so use it while you got it. It's going to go pretty fast. All right. Thanks for sitting down today, Carter. Oh, Good yeah. luck the rest of the season. Thanks. That was senior Carter Cruz. Now senior Alex Cohn. How are we doing today, Coney? Good, how are you? Wonderful. Ready for a good hard practice? Yep, that's what I'm looking forward to. Two today. nights off of games and then a day game on Saturday. Yes, sir. Doesn't it's usually don't get two nights in a row off. No, never. Very few. And then Saturday, I was just talking to Jack. Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right. So senior Alex Cohn. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Aaron and Amy Cohn. Younger brother's name? Cameron. All right. I had to throw that in there. We got to throw in Bailey too. Oh yeah, so, I suppose right. we got Bailey. Bailey in there Cohn. Too. All right. So senior graduated. What's this fall bring for Alex Cohen? Uh, I will be attending BVU to dual major in accounting and business ed while also playing baseball. Play baseball at the BVU. Excited about that? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah? Yep. Just, I talked to um, Aiden Comstock come down, and I interviewed him during the MMCRU game the other night. Talked to him for about an inning, inning and a half. And just about the differences, high school baseball to college baseball. And he said the biggest difference to him was you go there the first day, and you're automatically just thrown in and you start playing games. Mm -hmm. It's no – I mean, he said not that they don't work on fundamentals, but it's like you should know them and we're just here to play and improve on them. Yep. He said it was just such a vast difference. So, okay, what positions do you play? And when I say position, I most ask, ask most people what position. I ask you what positions do you play. Uh, last year I played all of them, but catcher and center field. So, I mean – is that a goal for the season? My goal is to play all nine positions. I remember year. hearing that last year that there was a game you hit your seventh position and you're like, only got two left to go. Mm -hmm. And is they... there, if you're the coach, what position are you going to be putting yourself at? If you're the coach, what position are you going to be playing? It depends who we're playing. Okay. If I'm... let's say we're playing Storm Lake or Spirit Lake next Monday, everybody's arm is fresh, everybody's good to go. What position are you playing? Uh. Me personally, I think I'd probably end up on the mound for a couple innings and then go back to shortstop. Okay. okay. Pitcher, shortstop. Okay. You played some first base this year. You've played some third base this year. Have you played second yet this year? No. 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 So just third, short, pitcher, first. Yep. Okay. Make your way around the infield, then you'll make your way around the outfield. Yep. Okay. All right. Advantages and disadvantages of having a brother on the varsity team. Um, advantages, I can push him. Disadvantages, he makes fun of me a lot. Okay. Yep. Are you ever afraid he's going to make you look bad? Nope. No? It's never a fear. Cam's going to be there, though. Cam's going to be Cam's Eventually, a he will be there, Cam's yes. a ball player. Cam's a ball player. But that's his job. Yep. Is to push you, push you, and then on turn, you're pushing him, pushing him. All right, what other sports do you play at Cherokee? Or did you play uh, at Cherokee? I played track and basketball track, and baseball. Basketball, baseball, and I don't even need to ask what the favorite is. Nope. Uh, I don't basketball, think, yeah. Baseball, number yep. one by far. Quite the basketball player, too. Who's the most competitive dude on the team? Um, Right now, I'd probably say Kale. Kale's Kale. pretty competitive. Your name has been answered almost every yeah. time. And that's good. I mean, that that's good. Who's the guy? Okay, the Braves are batting. Nobody's on base. First batter's up. Who's the dude in the dugout that is getting everybody going? Who's that dude? Uh, Either Thorson or me. Thorson, okay, yep. Thorson, he's got a lot, no offense, but he's got a loud mouth. Yeah, he does yeah, got a loud can, voice. He can get things yes. going. All right, personal goals that you have. Did you set any personal goals for the season? Um, 
For me, a personal goal is just to get better each and every day and try to make those around me better. But a team goal is to win the last game of the season. So, win. There's only one way to do that. Yeah. It, all right. Jack Mullins mentioned it a little bit ago. That was the goal is to go to Carroll at the end of the season. Yes, sir. So, all right. That is senior Alex Cohn. Good luck the rest of the year, Coney. Good job on the mound last night. Thank you, Neil. And we'll see you Monday, Saturday. Yes, at yes, Hartley sir. Hartley Sanborn here right. at noon. Sounds good. Thanks, Thank you. Coney. Senior Alex Cohn. Now we're joined by Big Stowe, Mr. Logan Stowater. How are we doing? Good. How are you, Neil? Wonderful. What's your mom and dad's names? Let everybody know who you are. Uh, I'm Logan Stowater. I am the son of Casey and Ryan Stowater. Casey and Ryan Stowater. All right. And you're a junior, going to be a senior? Correct. correct. Does it seem real that you're going to be a senior in high school? I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it. Okay, now. You take the hard time you're having, now think what your mom's thinking. She'll be fine. She'll, she'll be fine. She'll be okay. okay. She'll be fine. She'll, she'll get be through fine. it. <laughs> Probably can't wait to get me out. No. You're, you're her baby. Mm, that's more of the for, The first baby, the first one, the first boy is always, trust me, for my house, the oldest I'll, is the I'll baby boy. I'll take your word for it. The oldest is the baby <laughs> take boy. Take your word for it. All right. So, what positions do you play baseball? Uh, Outfield mainly is where I'm at. I outfield. played left field last year. When you say outfield, I still remember that catch you made in Holstein <laughs> in that first round playoff game against MBAO. Yeah. When you like jumped the left field fence and I, like it kind of hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. You made the catch though. I, you made the catch. I did. I mean, I'm sorry it hurt a little bit, but you made the catch. <laughs> uh, true. All right. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? I play football, basketball, track. All I play all four of them. Okay. So you play you play all these sports. And how does it feel to be playing a sport without Little Stowe? It's weird having – he's always usually right by my side. If every sport I go to, he's I look behind my shoulder, he's right there. He's right there. If I need someone to talk to, he's right there. And then playing baseball, he's just not. So it's, that's it's what I got. Different, but he's doing his thing. You're doing your thing. Yep, yep. Who's, who, okay, so without landing there, who's the guy you turn to now? Uh, Alex or Kale and Cam. Okay, Cam Alex, Kale, too. Cam. That's quite the trio. And Henry. Henry's been there, too. Alex, Kale, Cam, that's – <laughs> that's a dangerous trio right there all yep. right favorite baseball memory uh definitely last year at the nbao game that was pretty fun for me just being around everybody mm -hmm. in that environment favorite so. sports favorite high school sports memory oh probably beating western christian during basketball season two years ago my freshman year yeah, your freshman year yep. yep yep that was pretty fun and as we say that, the Elta softball team like heads towards the dugout because it started it raining. Started pouring. I don't know if they, they moved the varsity game up to five tonight. I don't know if they're going to get that in. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, it's coming in here. We'll be all right. Yep. Okay. My advice would be to keep at it. Don't give up because something gets hard. Stuff life is going to get hard, and you're going to get curveballs. And the best way to do it is just to practice. That's my best advice. Facing adversity, that's what I've been there struggled with. And another piece, don't get don't be too hard on yourself. I struggle with that very very much. If you don't go down yourself right away, great things can happen. Yep. You gotta believe in yourself. You made a big turn is about four or five games into the basketball season this year. That's one thing Coach Hurd had talked about is we gotta get Logan, you know, not on himself so hard. And when that stopped, man, you really come around and started playing some playing some basketball. So that's Junior, 2B senior, Logan Stowater. Thanks for joining us today, Stowe, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you, Neil. And we got the rest of the boys afraid of the rain. Who's coming up next? We got Kale, Thor, and Henry. Senior, Kale Miller. How we doing, Kale? I'm doing good. How about you? Wonderful. Why don't you give me your mom and dad's names? Uh, Anthony and Krista Miller. All right. And senior, graduated. What are we doing this fall? Uh, I'm going to BVU to play baseball and study accounting. Go to BV, play baseball, and study girls. Is that what you said? Uh, accounting, accounting. Accounting. I mean, accounting. I've heard okay. there's I'm, somebody else on the team that I might be doing. I misunderstood you. Yeah, that's I misunderstood you. Somebody on the team might be doing something like the same okay. thing, but I don't okay. know. All right. I haven't okay. really heard Sounds about good. them. Okay. Favorite baseball memory? Favorite baseball memory. High school, little league, whatever. Favorite baseball memory? Um, I'd probably have to say beating Western Christian last year in extra innings. That Okay. That, that went what, like 11, It, it went a lot. 
Yeah. It was a late. I know I didn't go to that I, one. I pitched that one, so, at the end. I think Carter maybe started. I, I can't remember who sure started, who but started I, there, I there, closed. It went, that, was a, that was a long night. It mm. was a good win. So. Yeah, that was fun. Advice to underclassmen that are coming into the Braves baseball program. Um, I think something that our underclassmen struggle with right now is moving on to the next play. Whether it's striking out, having a bat at bat, making an error, you just got to think next play. I got you next time. That's a big. That's a base. That's a big thing in baseball. Yeah. Period. Little kids, high school, mm-hmm. college, pro. I always I t- I tell I just tell Carter when he when we were coming up. Baseball is a game of failure. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. You can be. I mean, you know, batting averages. You can bat 300, which means you failed seven times, and you can be in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. So it's all about. I'll learn more about a player about how he reacts to an error than what he did making the error. Yep, exactly. So that, that's a good piece of advice in a classroom. Okay. Your names come up a lot in this question. All right. Who's the most competitive dude on the team? Most competitive when it comes dude right on the team. Right down to it, who's the most competitive dude on the team? I mean. You're getting I'll a couple c- fingers pointed at your head. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> I'd have to say Alex Cohn. Okay. You and Alex sure. are the only two answers I've gotten, and it's been about it's been about half and half. Is there – okay, so um, is this your third year at Cherokee playing high school? Yes. Okay. Was there an upperclassman that you kind of looked up to after you got here playing through Cherokee? Um, You know, Joe Benson played my position, you know, wanted to be – Beat him out. Wanted to be like Joe. Be like Joe, yeah. Out. In ways. In some ways. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else? What else should I ask him, Thorson? Who's your favorite Who's your favorite teammate? <laughs> see, you know, I have a lot of favorite teammates. You know, it's hard to pick one, but if I have to say my throwing partner, you know, Henry Luger is a good one to Henry pick. Luger. You know, now, throwing was that partner. A, did Henry pick you or did you pick Henry? Or was it a blind draw and Henry got, I mean, just. You know. I think it was just, you know, mutual mutual feelings there, you okay, know. Okay, so you guys have the same throwing partners before every game? Uh, it every depends. Pack. I mean, if if the starting pitcher. Okay. But if you're not pitching, you got the same throwing partner for the most every part, game. For the most part. Okay. All right. Okay. Who's your favorite teammate, Henry? Okay. That was a quick answer. He didn't hold hum around it like <laughs> you did. See, I had a lot of people pointing at me, though, so. Peer I had pressure. To... Peer pressure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's senior Kale Miller. Kale, thanks for sitting down today. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Let's see who we got next. <laughs> Junior to be senior. Does that seem real? Nope. No. Henry Luger going to be a senior in high school. Yep. All I right. don't like. I I don't like it at all. All right. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Cody Brown and Matt Luger. Okay. Favorite. Let's see. Let's go here. Position you play. Center field. Obviously. And lead off. You got to say lead off. Yeah. I Everybody am. likes a lead off. Yeah. Hitter. I like lead off too. Center fielder, lead off hitter. Was there an upperclassman you looked up to when you were in the younger years of baseball? Yeah, definitely Levi and Joe because they just kind of ran it when we were younger and it just showed us. Like, their senior year, they won 20 games, and it's just hopefully we can do it too. Okay. Favorite baseball memory so far? Um, baseball memory? Sports memory. Favorite sports memory. You cannot say Western Christian. Sports. Can't say Western Christian game. What's your favorite sports memory of high school? <clears throat> um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's your favorite teammate? Kale. Who's your sure. favorite throwing partner of Kale. all time? Of all, all time. T- all time. Favorite throwing partner of all time? Uh, still Kale. Still Kale. Who brings the most excitement to the team? Personally, I think it's me. It's you? Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Who's the guy who gets the dugout going? Uh, who's, that, who's that dude? Uh, Say we got bases loaded, two outs, bottom of the last inning, we need an RBI. Who's getting the base? Who's getting the dugout going? Uh, probably any of the seniors. I think they can all do it. Any Thorson's I'll names tr- come up a couple times. Yeah, I trust all of them. Get Blondie a base hit. Here. Okay, all right. Personal goals you had for yourself for the season? Um, lead the conference in stolen bases. Okay, how many we got so far? Uh, like fifteen or something. Nice, nice. We gonna get this softball game in tonight with the rain or not? You know, my sister's about to throw a perfect game, so I hope so. 
All right. You're calling it? Yep. She, I talked to her just a bit ago, and she she said one of her goals for the year was a no-hitter. And I said, let's just go get that tonight. Yeah, so let's go. I'm going to the softball. Have you guys heard about these dugout hats? I have, actually. I've seen them. I heard yeah. about a cowboy hat and a cat hat. Yeah, yeah. Cougar head. Thing. I, heard about that. I think I'm going to go to the softball game just to see the cat hat. All right, you got any questions for me? Um. Um. No. I got to think. No, let me think of one. I got a good question. <laughs> if me and Logan race in the 400, 400 hurdles, who do you think's winning? Henry Luger versus Logan. Who? There's two Logans. Stowe. Luger versus Logan Stowater in the 400 hurdles. I, I'm gonna have to go with Luger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You really, you really got that 400 going this year. Yeah, boy, I got I, that I'm, going. And I say this in the most respectful way. It surprised me that you were taking out Lance towards the end of the season. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I had a goal this year to. Uh, beat him before the year ends, and then I also had a goal to beat my brother's time his senior year, and I did both of them. You so do, you got we got Will's record. Yeah, he was, he ran a fifty nine like five, and I did a fifty nine three at the last meet. Did you get Carver's record? No, Carver's fifty five. I'm 55. shooting I'm shooting for that next year. Fifty five next year. All yep. right, Henry, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the year. That Thank was you. junior leadoff hitter Henry Luger. For the Cherokee Braves, we got a few left here. We got one left in the house. Blondie's going to come take a seat. Thick Shady. Nobody right. calls me. He no. went to state track for discus. Yeah. He qualified for state track in the discus. We're talking to Mr. Logan Thorson. Logan, what's your mom and dad's names? Jason and Amber. Jason and Amber Thorson. Logan qualified for state track in the discus. At the start of the season, would you have thought that you were going to qualify for state track? No, I, I mean, it was my goal, don't get me wrong, it was but I goal. didn't think I was qualifying. You didn't think you were qualifying, okay. What What changed this year to get you there? A lot of hard work, a lot of focus on the small things. I had my feet and, you know, kind of the form mostly down, but it just came down to the small details, the little things that, you know, made the big picture. Now let's talk about the experience of going to the state track meet. What was it, what was it like? Environment's completely different. It's kind of crazy. There's, there's people running everywhere. There's... Hard. People cheering for everyone. It's it's awesome. It's the best of the best going against each other from all the classes. It's crazy just seeing what some of those kids can do. And I can't remember who I was talking to on the girls. We were talking to the girls about state track. Let's shut that door so the rain don't get in. <laughs> all right, so we're up in the announcer's booth for the boys, and it's like raining crazy outside. So the Iowa High School state track meet is probably the biggest state track meet in the country. So – when these kids qualify and go to that, I don't think they realize what they're getting to be able to do. Not only is the track blue, you get yeah. to go run at the blue oval, yeah. but like you said, it is 10 events all going on. Everything's all going on at the same time, yep. and it's, it's nuts. So, okay, baseball. We're back to baseball. What position do you play? I play left field. Left field, okay. Favorite baseball memory? Uh, last year I went to Manson. I was a JV baller, and I hit two triples. The fence wasn't 20 feet tall. I think it was going over. I I remember that like it was yesterday. It was one of the games. I, I didn't do that game on the radio, but I remember that when you hit the second one, that was the fastest this fat guy's ever got out of a chair and, like, looked. And, and unfortunately, neither of your parents were there that night. I text your dad. I'm like, dude, he just said his he hit his second triple. And he's like, second triple? I'm like, yeah, he just, like, ripped two of them to the fence. Like, And with your speed, I mean – Inside the park home run? No. It should have been. They won't let me go. I was like, oh, coach was holding yeah. you up. They didn't want to make him embarrassed or anything. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's Logan Thorson. Okay, so advice to underclassmen, not just baseball, but just high school sports in general. Advice to underclassmen. Um, the biggest advice I can give you is listen to the seniors. I mean, sometimes they can kind of sound like a douchebag. And, I mean, if they're going too far, you don't have to listen to them. I mean, there's a line. But, I mean, respect them. Respect the, the – not even just the seniors. The upperclassmen, respect the coaches. In the last couple of years, the more kids we get coming up, I feel the less respect we see. And whether they notice it or not, it's – but I, I think there's just less respect coming up. Okay. So, I mean, just listen. Listen to the coaches, you know. If you're the coach – what position are you putting yourself at? Is there a position you really want to play that they won't let you play? Oh, me? Yeah. Um, pitching and outfield all at the same time. 
all at the, like all at the pitching same from yeah. center field. Basically, yeah. I'll take left, center, and right while pitching the ball, all of it. <laughs> Only you. Only Logan. And yep. you know your dad's going to watch this and just, like, <laughs> laugh, and he's going to, like, call you some names under his breath. Be like, oh, oh God, for sure. Oh, yeah, I'll hear about it later. But you know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. That's senior Logan. Th- oh, senior Logan Thorson. What's Logan Thorson doing this fall? Going to SCSU for civil engineering. Civil engineering. Ten years, what's your ideal job? What do you want to be doing and where? Um, Ideally, I'd like to come back and work somewhere like Beck Engineering or uh, they got some engineers down at Corteva. I'd like to be somewhere in that area, back close to family. Come back to the area and help out? Awesome. All right. Hey, Logan, thanks for sitting down with us. Good luck pitching from center field. (laughs) I'll get that done. Sounds good. I'll talk to Coach for you. (laughs) Don't forget your hat. Cover up your blonde hair. All right. Who's up next? Logan thinks now is not a good time to go. Oh, it's kind of let up a little bit. All right, we're talking yeah. to Ty Schlichting. How are we doing? Good. How are you, Neil? Wonderful. Another blondie from State Track. How was yep. that? How was that experience? It was an adventure. I really liked it. It, it was, was interesting. It makes you think a little. Did it kind of fuel you a little bit for next year? Yeah. Get you going. Get to see a what a lot of kids can do. Think, Man, if I could be there and run again, awesome. Okay, so Ty, you're a freshman, going to be a sophomore. Yep. Okay, and what position do you play? Uh, this year I played center field, left, and first base. Okay. First base, you're lefty, right? Yep. Okay, lefty first. Who, who doesn't want a six foot ten first base, lefty first baseman? That would be That's like ideal, saying. wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Thorson. Okay, all right. So, okay, <laughs> favorite baseball memory so far? Um, Marcus, beating Marcus. Beating Marcus, okay. I like that. All right, that was a good win. Braves, yeah, it was. That, that was a much needed win. Mm-hmm. I, I said on the air that night during that game, Braves had lost 12 to 10 to Sioux Central the Friday before that, but that was just mm-hmm. a good timed win. Yeah, it was. Well, back up a little bit, Ty. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, my mom is Jody, and my dad is Andy. Both Schlickens. Okay. All right, get a little bit. Get so everybody that watches knows who you are. Not everybody notices the blonde guy <laughs> sitting there. But okay, is there who's the most competitive dude on the team? Oh, probably Thorson. Thorson. Okay. Thorson right. always wants to compete. Thor, in, especially at squats, right? Yeah, squats. always. Anytime you say something, he's like, how much do you score? (laughs) Yep. Okay. All right. Is there an upperclassman that you have kind of looked up to this year, maybe last year, someone that's kind of given you some advice over the last couple years? Probably again, Thorson. Thorson. Okay. All right. That's good. Good. He's he's a good dude. Yeah, he is. He's just a little bit quirky. (laughs) Sometimes pitching from center field. Pitching. I would like to see that. (laughs) That'd be interesting. That's a Cam answer. That's something I thought Cam would say. That, that sounds like a cam answer. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. What else should I ask him? Cam, what else should I ask Ty? No? You got nothing? You got nothing. Which, if you're the coach, what position would you put yourself at? Is there a position you catcher. haven't played? Catcher. Catcher? You usually don't see 6'10 catchers, though. Or lefty catchers. Actually, like, by the books, a lefty catcher is, like, the fastest way to the pros. That's what I'm saying. I mean, just, yeah. I'll talk to Ralph. I'll, I'll right. talk to you. Let him know. Okay. I'll Put in a good word for me. All right. Thanks, Ty. Ty Schlichting, thanks for joining us today. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. All right. Who's next? Mr. Malowski. Mal and Malowski, how are we doing? Good. You? Wonderful. Wonderful. What's your parents' names? Tara Luger and Matt Malowski. Okay. And what position do you play? Uh, left field and first base. Left field, first base, and you're a freshman, going to be a sophomore? Yeah. Okay. Favorite baseball memory? Uh, Little league, high school, whatever. Beating East Sac. The game was fun. That was a good game. Cone pitched really good that night. 16 strikeouts. Yep. He had it going. Alex Cone. <laughs> Alex, Alex Cone. The better Cone. Slow down. Slow down, Cam. All right. Is there an upperclassman that you kind of look up to that's maybe give you some words of wisdom? All of them. All of them, all of them, good answer, good answer. Okay. Do you have a favorite teammate? I'm uh, going to put you on the spot the next couple questions. All of them. All, no, you can't answer all of them. I don't know. Is there, uh, is there okay, who's your throwing partner? Is there, is there a dude that you go to that, hey, if you, hey, no. I got to ask somebody something. Is there a dude that you go to that is your kind of go-to? No, I have like a different partner every time. Different partner so. every time, all right. Who's the most competitive dude on the team? Kale. Kale. All right, yeah. that name's come up a lot. Okay. Who's the goofiest? Thorson. Okay. Who's the one guy that gets the dugout going? Alex or Kale? Alex or Kale. 
All right. Base is loaded. Bottom of the last inning. We're down by one. Who do you want at the plate? Mini Edwin Staver. Mini Edwin Staver. Sean. Sean. That's a good answer. I did. I put Sean. I'd put Sean at the plate any day of the week if base is loaded. Need an RBI. Get a. And I. I'll, I'll, I'll get to him later. I'll get to him later. Any words of wisdom for the little leaguers coming up to Cherokee baseball? Have fun. Have fun. Hey, that's a good answer. Malin, thanks for joining us today. Good luck the rest of the season. That's Malin Malowski. Summer meet the team baseball style here on this rainy night. We're up in the, the boys' press box. It was raining out. Oh, it looks like, oh, like almost let up there, almost stopped. The girls are supposed to play tonight. They made the varsity game to five instead of seven. See if they can get that in. All right, Mr. Lake and Johnson, how are we doing? Pretty good, you? Yeah. Wonderful. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Bobby and Jenna Johnson. All right, Lakin's a sophomore, going to be a junior. Yep. Okay, all right, so you got just two more years of baseball left after this. Favorite baseball memory so far? Um, I don't really have an exact memory, but I always like playing Marcus and getting to play my cousin. And stuff, okay, because, so. yeah, all right, that would be kind of a, yeah. okay, yeah. That was, so that was a big win the other night for yeah, us, 13 to yeah, 3. Yep. You didn't rub it in a little bit, did you? Yeah, a little bit after. Just a little but... bit. Let it. Okay, all right. That was a good. That was a good win for the Braves. 10 run Marcus, 13 to 3. Who's your? Was uh, how do I ask this? Who's the dude that you would want on the mound in a go-to situation for the Braves? Uh, probably Alex. Alex? Yeah. He brought the heat last night. Yeah. Alex pitched really well last night. That's a good kid. That's a good kid to want in that position. What positions do you play? Uh, I played left and right, and I played catcher last year. Played but... catcher last year. Is there a position you would play if you had the choice? Is there something you haven't tried yet that you'd want to try? I'd play some first base, maybe. Play some first. You're built like a first base. Yeah. Big old burly first baseman. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else we got for him? Cam, you're kind of my go-to. If you were doing the interview, what would you ask next? Favorite jelly bean. Ooh, oh, oh, I don't I even like jelly beans. I don't like jelly beans, so I didn't think of that either. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Uh, probably like hot pink. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it right there. Nailed it right there. Okay. When it's all said and done, in 20 years, which Johnson brother is Cherokee baseball going to remember the most? Grayson. Great? Oh. Guaranteed. No Ryer? Eh, I don't know. Grayson, Grayson's a man? Yeah. Grayson's. Is it because he thinks he is or he is? No, he just, I don't know. He's always wanting to put in work for it. Uh, well, that's, just... that's, that's how you get there. Yeah. That's how you get there. All right, Lake and Johnson, right, thanks thank for joining you. us today. That's Lake and Johnson, sophomore for the Cherokee Braves. Now up is Mr. Cameron Cohn, how are you today? Good. Got that rainy look. Yeah, it's rainy outside. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What have you been doing all day? I took a nap. Took a nap? A mean nap for like, like two hours. It was okay. nice. Like a nap to me is like 20 minutes during lunch. No, I mean. You're talking like full, like out for a couple hours? I was dreaming. It was solid. Should I ask him what he was dreaming about? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you dream about, Cam? Well, let me think back. So our history teacher, Mr. Wook, was in it. <laughs> Should we yeah. stop him? Stop no. Going. Keep going. He was just, like, chilling at his desk, right? Okay. And I don't know what song I was singing, but I was singing from, like, the back of the class. I was like, hey, hit it, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> like you were singing in your head or, like, out loud? Like, out him? Out loud. He's like, sing it, Cam. And I like was bringing vocals and stuff. It was sick. Okay. Let's switch to baseball. Okay. <laughs> what positions do you play, Cam? Every. every Everything. Yeah, you're kind of, of are you the, the Swiss Army knife? Yeah. Henry Luger always referred to himself as the Swiss Army knife of basketball. Uh, are you the Swiss Army knife of baseball? Yeah, I would say so. Because this year you've played what? Catcher, pitcher? Uh, second, short, center. And I'm waiting for them to call me to first. You played third base, haven't you? Oh yeah, third. That's six. And I'm yeah, I'm waiting for first. So left, first, right. left, and right. So you got more positions in than Alex yet this year. Yeah. He was like all bragging about like five times five positions. Yeah. I don't know who he thinks he is, but. All right. Advantages and disadvantages 
of playing baseball with your older brother on mm. the same team? Advantages? I mean, he pushes me. Okay. Coaches me a lot. Okay. But the sec, like... Are there disadvantages? Not really, but sometimes it sounds like he's being real harsh. But okay. That's just him coaching, I guess. Okay. You know what? He said the exact same thing. Yeah, see. He said the exact same thing. He said the advantages are I get to push him and coach him because he's not he doesn't know how good he can be. That's exactly what he said. So let's back up. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, dad is Aaron. Mom is Amy. Older brother Cam. Or older brother Alex. Younger mm -hmm. sister Bailey. Yeah. All right. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, basketball and track. Favorite sport? Baseball. Baseball. I thought you'd say. I really thought you'd say basketball. Nah. No. Baseball. Baseball. Personal goals you have for yourself for the season? Mm, probably just get back in the starting varsity lineup. Get back in the lineup. Nice. Yeah. You get there, work it off, work it off. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. What do we got for Cam? You got to be careful what I ask him. You never <laughs> know what you're going to get for an answer. It's going to involve some teachers and stuff. <laughs> Advice to underclassmen that are coming into the Braves baseball program. Uh, listen to upperclassmen and kind of just take it all in because these years go by really fast. That's, I've gotten that answer a couple different times. Enjoy it because it goes by fast. Cam, thanks for sitting down with us today. That's Cameron Cohn, sophomore for the Cherokee Braves, doing summer sports, meet the team, got the softball game, team in earlier. And from the looks of it, I don't know if they're going to play that softball game tonight. Probably not. Peace out, Cam. Now we're sitting down with Mr. Blake Lovell. How are we doing today, Blake? I'm good. Wonderful. What's your mom and dad's names? Uh, Scott and Jody Lovell. Scott and Jody Lovell. All right. So what positions do you play in baseball? Uh, first and a little bit of outfield. First, a little bit of outfield. Okay. We ever going to see you on the mound? Um, I pitched one JV game this year, but yeah. I don't know. No? Maybe not. All right. Okay. We got to back up just a little bit. I'm going to ask you about that state track experience. How was that? Oh, it was really cool. It's a, really awesome. That's a, that that track meet's just a whole breed of itself. Yeah. Blake qualified for the 2024 state track meet in the shot put as we went down to Manson for the district meet and I we got about halfway through the shot put. I went over to watch the shuttle hurdle run and I come back and as I turn the corner like five or six people, "Did you see Blake's throw? Did you see Blake's throw?" And, Apparently, you just, like, chunked one out, like, PR'd by, like, two and a half feet on the last throw of the meet. Yeah. How far did you throw that? Uh, that one was 51.7. What was your PR going into that? Uh, 49.6. So you PR'd by two feet. Yep. In, like, the second to last throw of the whole meet. Yep. To qualify for state. What's, what was what was the feeling when you – did you know it when you threw it, or did you have to wait for it to land? Yeah, as soon as I threw it, I knew it was going to be a good Those one. Those throwers kind of know – win, lose, or draw when, when it comes out of the hand. What was different about that throw, or was it just that everything kind of came together? Um, it was everything kind of came together, but I think the most of it was I was kind of – I knew if I didn't get this throw that I probably wouldn't be going to state, so I had a lot of adrenaline and was hyping myself up before it, so that helped a lot. Okay, and, and like I've talked to a couple of the guys and a couple of the gals that went to state track – they say that going there, even if you're going to just watch, it just fuels you for next year to want to have, to want to get to go back to that. Yeah. It's kind of a neat, I mean, not only is the track blue, but it's just kind of a, like Thorson said, there's like five or six events all going at the same time, and there's people running everywhere. And right. It almost looks like chaos, but it's controlled chaos. So we'll get back to a little bit of baseball here. Personal goals you have for yourself going into the season? Um, I'd say just – Keep doing the best I can do. Uh, no one can get mad at you if you do that. So. And we know, we know you're going to work your hardest because I've watched you play high school sports up to this point. You're always going to put your all into it. Who's the hardest work? Who's the hardest working dude on the team? Uh, I would say either Kale or Alex, or I'd throw Carter in there too. Okay. All right. Who's the dude? I go back. I asked this question during basketball a little bit too. You're in a. You cannot laugh. You're in a no laughing situation. Right. Who are you not going to look at? Who's the guy that if you look at them, they're going to do or say something stupid that's going to make you laugh? Uh, I'd say either Thorson or Cam. Thor Cam. Cam's yeah. name comes up a lot when it comes to that, Thorson or Cam. All right, who's the most intense? Um, I would say 
Probably Alex. Alex. Yep. All right. You're the head coach. Coach Rapp doesn't know what he's doing. You're the head coach. What position are you going to be playing? Mm. Is there a position that you've always wanted to play that maybe you haven't got to or something you want to try out? Either catcher or short. Catcher. If he's a catcher, I'm not running into home. I'm not, I'm not going to collide with him because – you're probably not going to win. <laughs> so, all right, that's sophomore Blake Lovell. Thanks for sitting down with us today. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Mr. Gunn, how are you? Good. Peyton Gunn, sophomore. What positions do you play? Mm, outfield, anywhere. Outfield, anywhere. Mom and dad's names? Uh, Patrick and Rachel Gunn. Patrick and Rachel Gunn. Okay, who's the better outfielder, you or Allison? Probably me. <laughs> She does. Better, she doesn't like softball. Who's so. a better hitter? She might have me on that one. <laughs> she I might. can't hit the ball this year. <laughs> hey, got to work hard. Work mm-hmm. hard. It'll come. So you play JV. You play a little bit of varsity mm-hmm. back and forth. You've done some running on varsity. Um, what's your favorite baseball memory so far? Like this year or just overall? Overall. Anything. Uh, probably a few years ago when Sam Cash hit a walk-off single. I, Spencer. I think so, That yeah. was against Spencer right here on Kenny Byrne Field. Mm-hmm. I remember that was, that was a big game. Mm-hmm. I think Cash went three for three that night, too. I remember, yes, that was a that was a good game. That's a good memory. I mm-hmm. like that. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, football, basketball, and track. Favorite sport? Probably football. Football? Okay. All right, what position do you play in football? Running back, linebacker. Running back, linebacker. Okay, best football team in the state of Florida? Florida, Florida State. Okay. Easy, All, right. Easy. All right, okay. I just I <laughs> just had to throw that in there. All right, because Dad would probably wouldn't let you sleep at the house <laughs> tonight, right? Probably not. But... Not if you just said hurricanes? No? No. Okay. All right. Is there an upperclassman you look up to in baseball? Somebody that you go to, hey, if you got a question about this, or somebody that's giving you a piece of advice? Hi, Thorson. Thorson, okay, he's his, he's a good dude. He's a good dude to look up to. All right. Is there a position you'd play if you could pick anything? Probably catcher. Catcher. Never tried that. You're before. built like a catcher. You're built like a catcher. All right. All right, Mr. Gunn. Thanks for joining Thank us you. today. Good luck the rest of the season. That's Peyton Gunn now. We're joined by Mr. Comstock, Sean Comstock. How we doing? Good. All right, so mom and dad's names. Eric and Claudia Comstock. Okay, now I said it the first couple tele first couple games I did on the radio, I talked about how much, and I said I'm only going to say it a couple times, how much you look like Aiden when you get into that left-handed batter's box. Yeah, it's and it's a compliment. I mean, because Aiden was a heck of a hitter. Mediocre. It, 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 <laughs> mediocre. Yeah. So when it's all said and done, who's going to have the better batting average? High Me. school career, you. Me. Yeah, I, lo- I love the confidence. Yeah. But it just it amazed me. Just the little mannerisms of how you get in the box and you're moving your feet and the bat and everything. A lot of cages with him. A lot of it, yep. And that's and that that was my thought was like he's been watching him since he was you know that yeah. that old and stuff like that. So all right, what positions does Sean play? Um, left field, third base, second base, and first base. Kind of a utility kid all yeah. over the place. Is there a position that you haven't played that you would like to play? And no. you're a pitcher too. Yeah, I pitch a little bit. Pitch pitch a little bit. Everybody everybody's got to have a, have a lefty in the bullpen. I'm right-handed. You throw right? Yeah. No. uh yeah. Do you really? That's uh-huh. crazy. No. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, I can picture you playing first the other night. Yeah. Okay. Always throwing righty. Mm-hmm. Always batted lefty. Mm-hmm. Can you bat righty? Not very good. No. Not. Not one of those dudes that can like in the middle of the at bat go around and get in the other po- in the no. other box. No. 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 All right. Personal goals you have for yourself on the season? Um. Yeah. All conference like nominations. Awesome, I like that. I like that. Um, best piece of advice your brother's ever given you? Trust the process. It's exact, dude. That's exactly what he said the other night. You were up. I was talking. He interviewed him during the game the other night. You were up to bat and you had a three zero count. Yeah. And I said, okay, Aiden, what's your advice to him right now? And he said, trust the process and be smart. Mm-hmm. That's I. That that's. Doesn't surprise me that you both say that, but that was awesome that you both just come up with the same answer. So, who's the? Is there an upperclassman that you've kind of looked up to, or that's giving you some advice in the past Alex. couple months? Alex. Alex, yeah. Alex is a good dude to look up to. He's a base. He's a baseballer. Mm-hmm. There's to me. There's a difference between a high school baseball player and a baseballer. Yeah. There's a, every every team. Every team's got that kid that you can just look at him from across the diamond and say he's a baseball player. Yeah. He's a baller. Every, and Alex is one of those kids. He's a good kid to look up to. What other sports do you play at Cherokee? Uh, football and wrestling. F- 
football, wrestling. What's your favorite sport? Baseball. Baseball, hands down. Yeah. Okay, so when it's all said and done, high school batting average, you're going to have a better batting average than Aiden. Yeah. More hits? Yeah. Okay. I, that's, that's, that's quite the challenge. He had over 100 hits. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I love the confidence. Like I said, all right. And you, you're a freshman, going to be a sophomore. Yeah. Is there more pressure than normal being you're just a freshman playing varsity or just, baseball and just go? Just baseball. Just baseball and Same go. Same game as always. The next couple years, you know, I mean, we got five seniors. Yeah. But we only got one junior. Two juniors. Two juniors. Henry. Um, Stowe. We got Stowe. But yeah, Stowe I forgot. To, yeah, Stowe come out. So, but I mean, you got those five seniors, a couple juniors. But we have a lot of underclassmen that are playing a lot of varsity time. Yeah. And which, in the next couple of years, that's going to turn into just a lot of experience. Get this program going in the right direction. Two years ago, the, that group started it. We won over 20 games. Yep. Kind of fell behind the eight ball. Got bad luck last year and didn't end up like we thought we were going to but i think this is the year that we're going to turn some things around and you that core of younger guys is going to be the ones that are going to help do it so sean yeah. thanks for sitting down with us today good luck that's sean comstock thank you braves baseball good luck the rest of your man neil cruz with fuller digital solutions here meet the team baseball style we did the softball team first and now baseball just about to wrap it up, I got to talk to head coach Abby James on the softball side, but I don't believe Coach Rapp is going to make it up as they are having practice as we speak. I'm going to open up here and see. Nope, they're in the dugout. It's raining pretty good. So we are going to say goodbye for now. That is spring sports or summer sports meet the team baseball softball style. I'm Neil Cruz. Thanks for listening today on Fuller Digital Solutions. Thank you for watching this exclusive broadcast on Fuller Digital Solutions. To receive notifications and links about your favorite team's live streams, join our text club by scanning this QR code or text the word on the screen to the number shown. If your business would like to be a sponsor on broadcasts like this, please reach out to us at fullerdigitalsolutions at gmail.com. Join us all year long for coverage of your favorite team on Fuller Digital Solutions.